Well, you probably wouldn't think twice passing this guy on the street, but looks can be deceiving. Jacob Weidman is a killer convicted of a cold blooded murder at a kid's summer camp. So are you OK with him being out on Valley streets because it happened? Here's ABC 15 investigator Dave Biscovic. As I followed Jacob Weidman's case, I found it's not only bizarre, it's also confusing. So here's how we got here. In 1986, as a teen at summer camp, Jacob Weidman stabbed fellow camper Eric Kane in his sleep and left him to die. His mental health, obviously an issue. So when he was released on home arrest last year, after nearly three decades in prison, Weidman promised to see a top psychiatrist. The state says he didn't, so he was arrested and was just called to face the state parole board. In a tense six-hour hearing, with a now imprisoned Jacob Weidman calling in. Attorneys for the Arizona Department of Corrections say Weidman violated the terms of his release on home arrest by failing to set up those psychiatry appointments. Eight separate times telling him, get an appointment with Dr. McCain, and he didn't do it. In records, the state called his excuses deceptive and manipulative. And this is important. They say Weidman has anger issues, something he denies fiercely. But there was a concern about anger issues. I don't know where she's getting that from. And so did his attorney, who claimed Weidman's parole officer never gave him specific orders to schedule the psychiatrist. Weidman believed they were working together on it. She even openly accused the state of corruption. They set him up. Don't become a part of that, okay? At one point, it seemed like the board was agreeing. I have no doubt that Mr. Weidman is, is, um, is very motivated. Just when the state's case felt like it was teetering, new evidence came into play. Recent transcripts of Weidman's phone calls with his wife from prison. Weidman's team knew it would be damning and they tried to stop it. The call show Weidman telling his wife he'd get so angry his chest would tighten. He and his wife also calling members of the parole board idiots and that they would sue and even seek criminal charges if they revoked his release. This is not a person that you want out on the street. Last November, 30 years after the summer camp murder, Weidman walked out of prison Approved for release by board members on a split 3-2 vote. This time around, there was a clear, unanimous decision. Revoke the uh, home arrest. And this is the moment Jacob Weidman realized it was over. It seems likely Weidman's legal team will challenge this decision in some way. But either way, he's allowed to go back before the parole board in just six months to re-ask for home arrest again. In the newsroom, Dave Biscobing, ABC 15, Arizona.